A UN report on terrorism has warned that there are significant numbers of Islamic State terrorists in Kerala and Karnataka, noting that the Al-Qaeda in the Indian subcoordinate terror group is planning attacks in the region. With Islamic State and its various manifestations spreading base in 12 Indian states in recent years, the Sunni Jihadist group is now most active in these states across the country. 10 of the 30 cases that have been investigated or are under investigation by the NIA in Kerala are ISIS related. Several accused have been arrested and charge sheets have been filed in some of these cases. Some of these arrested were brought back to India from the Middle East and Afghanistan and some were picked up for allegedly planning terror attacks in Kerala. Apart from southern states like Telangana, Kerala, Andhra Pradesh, Karnataka and Tamil Nadu, where the Iran and Syria based terrorist outfit penetrated years ago, investigating agencies have found their links in states like Maharashtra, West Bengal, Rajasthan, Bihar, Uttar Pradesh, Madhya Pradesh and Jammu and Kashmir as well. The Islamic State or ISIS which has taken control over much of Syria and Iraq since 2014 and has branches in countries like Bangladesh, Mali, Somalia and Egypt and links with other terror outfits like lashkar e taiba and Al-Qaeda is using various social media platforms to propagate its ideology in India. Many instances of individuals from different states joining the group have come to the notice of the central and state security agencies. The information on IS was provided by Minister of State of Home G. Kishan Reddy in the Rajya Sabha in a written reply to Bharatiya Janata Party MP Vinay P. Sahasrabuddhi's unstart question. The minister said, the cyberspace is being closely watched by Indian agencies and action taken as per the law. Reddy said that probes by the National Investigation Agency have revealed that the IS is most active in Kerala, Karnataka, Andhra Pradesh, Telangana, Maharashtra, Tamil Nadu, West Bengal, Rajasthan, Bihar, Uttar Pradesh, Madhya Pradesh and Jammu and Kashmir. The NIA, India's anti-terror agency, has registered 17 cases related to the presence of IS in Telangana, Kerala, Andhra Pradesh, Karnataka and Tamil Nadu. It has arrested 122 accused, Reddy replied. Or Islamic State in Khorasan province, ISIS Vilayat Khorasan or Islamic State of Iraq and the Sham Khorasan and its manifestations have been notified as terrorist organizations and included in the first schedule to the Unlawful Activities Act 1967 by the central government, the minister said. Asked whether the government has any information on how these group members are funded and whether they are getting any foreign funding for terror activities, the minister replied in the positive. However, Reddy did not explain what information the Ministry of Home Affairs, which is responsible for internal security and law and order in the country, has on the IS and which foreign country is funding for their terror activities. MHA officials indicated the role of neighboring Pakistan in such activities. In August 2014, the US and Iran started a campaign to conduct airstrikes on ISIS targets in Iraq. Since then, 14 countries in a US-led coalition along with local Kurdish and Arab forces in the area have also executed airstrikes on ISIS in both Iraq and Syria. It has led to the killing of several top ISIS leaders, weakening their grasp on many of their strongholds. Recruitments allegedly happened through networks of families and friends. Recruits typically came from particular rural pockets where a local sympathizer of the terrorist group had influence in some cases. Brothers living under the same roof left for the pilgrimage together along with their families. News Desk, Karma News.